leak, leaks on IG report. Comey broke from FBI procedures, but no political bias. Inspector General Michael Horowitz informed lawmakers weeks ago on Capitol Hill his much-anticipated 400-page report on the FBI's handling of Hillary Clinton's email investigation entered the final stages. This is by Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. Lawyers for the subjects included in the report were given a draft copy to prepare rebuttals for their clients, which is what partially led to delays in releasing the report to the public. The report will be released today at 3 p.m. President Trump will see a copy of the report at noon. The first leaks on the report say James Comey broke from FBI procedures when he delivered his report publicly on the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Hillary broke several rules, laws, and regulations, but was not found guilty of her actions. It was a sham investigation by the FBI and DOJ. The report will be released later today. The first leak say Comey broke from FBI procedure but was not politically biased. What a joke. It is obvious to anyone paying attention that James Comey had a deep-seated hatred of Donald Trump. And here is what Bloomberg reported. Uh, And I read Bloomberg's uh, report prior to reading this article. I just found this article here. Uh, But he said uh, it's going to be a disappointment to the people on the right, Bloomberg wrote. So Bloomberg reported former FBI Director James Comey deviated from FBI and Justice Department procedures in handling the probe into Hillary Clinton damaging the law enforcement agency's image of impartiality, even though he wasn't motivated by political bias. What a joke. The department's watchdog found in a highly anticipated report. While we did not find that these decisions were the result of political bias on Comey's part, we nevertheless concluded that by departing so clearly and dramatically from FBI and department norms, The decisions negatively impacted the perception of the FBI and the department as fair administrators of justice. Inspector General Michael Horowitz said in the report's conclusion, which were obtained Thursday by Bloomberg News. Horowitz's report examined actions taken by top officials before the 2016 election included the handling of the investigation into Clinton's use of a private email server when she was Secretary of State. The investigation expanded to touch on an array of politically sensitive decisions by officials, including Comey and former Attorney General Loretta Lynch. Read the rest here, okay. But it wasn't political. Uh, Stephen Dennis, IG Peter Strzok, and Lisa Page exchanged anti-Trump texts, but we did not find documentary or testimonial evidence that improper considerations, including political bias, directly affected the specific investigative actions we reviewed. Really? So, in other words, I read the report that Bloomberg put out, and it does say that Peter Strzok and Lisa Page were not politically biased. So, now, what does this tell you? that they're all scot-free. No wonder we didn't have any incidences occurring um, as of yet for this IG report because it was already compromised, my thoughts, my thoughts, because it it doesn't show political bias. Uh, I bear to differ with that. But as you can see, the criminals uh, are still having their, uh, they're still marching on free as birds without any repercussions or reprimands or whatever. Uh, now we'll wait for the IG report at 3 p.m., but the leaks, how did Bloomberg get it? How did Bloomberg get these leaks? Because it says Comey didn't show political bias, Strzok and Page that were anti-Trumpers all the way and Comey. It wasn't political bias. Okay, so this is Obama's appointee that we had uh, investigating. I don't know what to say about it, folks. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.